Do you have any computer, internet, or technology questions? Feel free to ask them at cleartechinfo.com. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. The Windows XP and Vista uninstallers work okay, but they do not remove every single little file associated with each software uninstall. Over time, they'll leave excess files on the computer which take up valuable hard drive space which you could use to throw in new files or whole programs. Another thing that they'll do is over time with the accumulation of all those extra files on your computer, it might even slow it down. So what I'm going about to show you in this tutorial is how to thoroughly uninstall software in Windows XP or Vista using a free program called Reboot Uninstaller. Open up your favorite browser Type in at the top address bar, revouninstaller.com. R E V O U N I N S T A L E R dot C O M. They're taking you straight to their website. Click on any of the download links. Then click download, save file. Once it is downloaded, go to the exact download location. It could be the desktop or in this case, it's a specific download folder. Then close up everything that's open, which is your browser. Double click that file to start the installation. Click Run, OK, click Next, check this, click Next, click Install, it's installed. If you have this checked and you click Finish, the uninstaller will start. I'll exit this. And it shows you a list of everything you have installed on your computer. For this example, I'll show you how to install program using 7-zip as the example. Yes. For most of you out there, I recommend using moderate. I will use advanced in this tutorial. Click next. It will perform all these steps. Click uninstall. Choose manually reboot later. If it gives you that option. If it tries to force you to restart at this point of the uninstallation, just cancel out of it somehow. So I'm going to choose in this example manually reboot later and then you're still on the middle of the uninstall process, click next. It's searching for those extra leftover files. Next, have some files that the Windows Vista uninstaller didn't uninstall, so just click delete. Click next, and it's successfully complete. Sometimes there'll be a pop-up and option during the uninstallation process if you use the advanced and it'll take you into the registry. Be very, very careful of what you check for deletion because if you check the wrong thing, when you restart, your Windows Vista or XP computer will not start up correctly. It'll give you this error message and you will never be able to boot up into your computer unless you just erase the whole thing and start from scratch. So just be aware when you're messing with the registry options. For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.